I want to get as much of these sold. I mean, it'll make a big difference. So I think putting the rest on here is going to be wise. We can do it with this tele truck. One of the beauties of it is it has the extending arm. So we should be able to, without much difficulty, get these on the top. And it is very good at doing this. Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the old stream farm. Uh, we are low on money, but l high actually on uh, lettuce. So we are going to get that sold today. We're going to make some cash off it and then grab some money in order to uh, fertilize or grab some fertilizer in order to fertilize our grapes and get them as high as we can. I think we're going to be... I don't think we're going to get the grapes to full fertilization, at least the ones we harvested last year. Uh, and that is mainly because they are... Uh, well, it's August. September is when we start harvesting them. And they are only at one stage of fertilization. So this is when having two stages of fertilization would be usable. Uh, or useful. Now, sometimes the mouse gets stuck. The mouse look gets stuck on this uh, little tele truck, and you can't move it around when you're trying to uh, look about a bit. So it's yeah, that's why I just had to jump out of it and uh, and jump back in. We'll get underneath that. We do have a lot of lettuce available. And you can see by the fact that I picked two crates out and immediately two more spawned. Uh, we have two very full greenhouses, which is great. We should make a decent amount of cash off these today. Uh, we just need to get them loaded up, which will take us a little bit of time, but should be absolutely fine. Uh, especially if we do it this way and take two at a time. Uh, we've got one extra crate reappear in there. So let's grab a couple of crates out of here. Get this down to a single crate as well. Uh, and then we can use that to uh, do these as well. And try and keep this uh, very similar uh, setup and quick loading that we want to do here. So that, yeah, we can go and make a lot of money on these as quickly as possible. And uh, get that fertilizer in. These are the last two pallets for our first row. And it's quite interesting. We have not a lot of space on here. I, oh, we've not taken many away on here, which is a little bit odd. Uh, we've, we've got a... Well, I suppose we're not packing them as close as we have uh, in previous times when we've been selling lettuces. Uh, but we are going to end up with... We can go with this three high. Now, somebody did say last time uh, that... Uh, last time we sold lettuces that I was overloading this trailer. And it's probably true. We are going fairly high. It's quite a bit of weight we're putting on here. That's going straight down the middle. And so, yeah, we are, we are probably putting a little bit... Uh, of extra weight uh, on this trailer than we should. Uh, but we do need to try and make as much money from this lettuce as possible. Uh, how many rows have we got left here? One, two, three, four, five, is that, I think, plus this row? Uh, and I think we've got five on the other. So uh, that's 20 more pallets. Uh, we can fit one... Uh, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, I think. So, yeah, we should get all of these on here except for one set of, uh, of them. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be all right. We'll be, uh, we'll be okay in getting, uh, all of these on here and all of these sold today. So, uh, not too bad and we shouldn't really have to go above two rows. I will probably leave two pallets behind uh, for the reason I just said. In that, uh, yeah, basically, uh, I don't want to go more than too high on here. And we are just going to keep producing lettuce as we go. So, 
yeah, should all work out pretty well, to be honest. So I have miscounted slightly. We've got four, well, we've got eight pallets left. So uh, four lots of two. And we only have space for two more pallets on the trailer. So it's actually only uh, four sets uh, that I was able to get on here. Uh, I think my response to that is going to be that uh, we're going to try and place the remaining ones down the middle. Uh, well, down the middle on the top. So uh, we are fairly high loaded at the moment. But yeah, I want to get I want to get as much of these sold. I mean, it'll make a big difference. So I think putting the rest on here is going to be wise. We can do it with this tele truck. One of the beauties of it is it has the extending arm. So we should be able to, without much difficulty, get these on the top. And it is very good at doing this. So let's bring this round here like so. Uh, so yeah, we're going to ignore the front one. We're going to come here and then put this... In the middle, we are going to have to extend the arm slightly. A bit more. Yeah, there. Perfect. So get that nicely in the middle, like so. And then back it off. Uh, yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get all three sets on doing that. So I'm going to leave the arm out slightly. Because that then helps me to position. And then grab this set. There we go. So yeah, this is this is gonna be the biggest sale of lettuce we've done on here. And the lettuce has been an absolute lifesaver on here. We I don't think we'd have got as far as we have uh, if we hadn't had these. And I think this is probably a lesson I've learned for doing grapes. Grapes on their own will take a very long time to do. Grapes supported by things like a couple of greenhouses or things like that uh, work and you can actually do them and you can use this uh, setup here to fund it until the grapes really take off. And I think we're finding that three fields worth is, is kind of going to be a level where we can really take off with the grapes. So yeah, it's it, as with most things in Farm Sim, you need to be a little bit all round uh, all roundy if you're not all round uh you can have trouble wow look at those wheels that is way overloaded right let's get these all strapped down hopefully our well, hopefully our disco is going to be fine with this but we'll park the tele truck over here for now because that's a good place for it and yeah, this trailer is a little bit overloaded. Uh, let's, uh, where are we going to go with this? Let's see, where is the best price at the moment for lettuce? And how far off absolute best price is this? Uh, it is, oh wow, uh, no, Farmer's Market is the best place. So we'll tag that, uh, price fluctuations. We are, yeah, but not horrible, but it could be better. So let's uh, head down and get this sold at the farmer's market, which is... We did tag that, didn't we? Uh, farmer's market. Yes, we did. Where's that on the map? Ah, that is over that away. Uh, so maybe we can get out and sort it. Uh, this direction. Oh, yeah. It's our usual sell point. Yeah, right here, just off the side. Let's see how much we are going to make off these today. As... Yep, that's now taking from everywhere. And down it goes. And that is a really decent amount. We've not quite got these front ones in, though. 32,284... With an additional uh, few bits on here. This is making a lot of noise, this. There we go. Additional 1,000. 
It's really good. Yeah, 30, so about 33,000, just uh, 33,600-ish. We'll undo all the straps. Uh, that is perfect. That is means we can do two things. Uh, one, we're going to head back to the farm and get a fuel tank. Uh, because at the moment, we cannot refuel our tractor and need to. And the second is that we need to go and get some fertilizer for our uh, sprayer. So we're going to go and do that as well. So placing a fuel tank, we're going to do it in the same sort of area as our methane tank. So let's go purchase and place construction. And we should be able to put into here... Uh, tools no tools is is for that stuff or oh, we might put in a um pressure washer as well but i want container there we go so uh, we got five thousand for a basic fuel bowser ten thousand for a medium one uh i think we'll go for a basic we don't need to do much more than that so we'll put that there and turn it slightly i think there we go. And down. Perfect. We can now purchase that. Uh, yes, please. So now that has a whole load of fuel in it as well. Uh, and that is really good. We can go and sort that. Uh, now I'm going to head up to the shop. And we're going to go and grab... Oh, actually, no. First, we'll put some fuel in our tractor. And we'll see how much spray we've actually got. So let's hook up our sprayer to this. We need to do this anyway later. So we might as well do it now and see where we are. How much has this got in it? Uh, this. Oh, actually, this has a reasonable amount. I think we'll see how far this goes first. And then see if we can avoid having to spend more money. Just turn the engine off on the disco then. And yeah, I'm going to head up the top and we'll go and see if 42% fertilizer in here is enough for us to get the grapes sprayed this year. It's not going down that fast. We're actually doing fairly well on this, I think. Uh, it does do two rows at once uh, if I can keep myself going down the middle. So that's pretty good. And that. Wait, stop. Let's not waste any of this. Uh, but yeah, that was 1% that used. So, ah, oh, looks like we're not going to need to purchase any. And annoyingly, we could have done this last time and got ourselves up two levels of fertilization on these grapes. That is uh, unfortunate. Now, is this having the desired effect on here? I'm going to get to the end of this row and then have a look, I think. Uh, it is does seem to be doing two rows at a time. Uh, I don't know if its width is better than that. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things where I don't want to do every other row. It's, common sense says to me that it's um, doing it right and doing two sets at once. We are getting strips like this, though. And I don't know if we are 69%. It's really difficult to tell. 69%. Is it going to jump another 30%? Getting these to the top. So 69% on this row. 69% on this row. Okay. So it seems to be fairly consistent. Uh, I'm going to keep doing it uh, every couple of rows. Let me know in the comments if you know otherwise. It does seem to be in strips, but it does seem to be covering our vines. So I'm hoping that it's it's good enough. Have you had to do every row or have you found that every other row works just as well when spraying grapevines? I'm really interested uh, to know what you guys think and, uh, and whether you th guys think that this is enough coverage for them. You know what? I went through all that talk of uh, needing to refuel this tractor and placing the fuel tank down and buying the fuel and then didn't do it. We still have 
a flashing red warning light on our fuel gauge on this tractor. So, thankfully, we have enough fuel to get this part of this field done and finished spraying. So, we're going to do that and get that finished. And then I'm immediately going to go down and uh, get this tractor refueled before it conks out and uh, and we are unable to continue so just bring it around here turn it off and refill it there we go that was a little bit closer than i would have liked um but we are fine we are moving pretty nicely along uh we have only used three percent so yeah we did not need to raise money to sort this out and uh, and get uh, and get this in a position where we could buy more liquid fertilizer uh we have plenty clicking around the farm already and we're gonna be able to get all of our grapevines fertilized with it now i don't know if you guys saw yesterday the announcement well you probably did to be honest the announcement of the kubota dlc coming to farming simulator 22 at the end of next month, 28th of June. Um, really cool. I, uh, I'm i loving that. I am going to be doing a series with it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll probably start a series around about its uh, launch date. Uh, which will uh, which will feature the DLC fairly heavily. Um, if you want to pre-order it at the moment. And use my uh, part, uh, Giants Partner link. And support the channel. I have put a link to it in the uh description below in fact there is a link to all of the uh to fs22 itself and uh this dlc the antonio carrera dlc in there too um if you uh, if you want to do that or if you ever buy anything from the farming simulator website uh use my code vf gaming and you will uh, and you'll help support the channel as well now at the moment uh, as of recording this there's an 8% discount uh, if you buy uh, from the Farming Simulator website. So, yeah, if you want to jump in and grab the DLC, uh, head over to the website. Go grab it and, uh, and, yeah, get it for a little bit off at the moment. Um, because uh, it is available at a little bit of a discount. Last row. Looking very nice. Having got everything well sprayed trying to keep away from the vines themselves how are we looking we're looking pretty good uh we've got the same sort of uh lines here having gone down every other row uh we've fully done on the other set i think well august is let's have a look in here in the calendar august is late summer so yeah in fact I could do a cut of grass now. Uh, that would work. Or I could take on a grass contract, in fact, and earn a whole load of money. It is only half past 12. And this field today has actually taken a lot less time than I had originally expected. Let's have a look at our greenhouses, actually. We want to keep them running and see how we go from there. Uh, I also, I don't think I've checked what's on sale in the shop today so we may have a useful piece of kit that's uh sitting in the shop don't know why i've still got the cedar to be honest we could do contra uh, seeding contracts um but uh yeah i don't know why we have the cedar in here it's not really something that we're using on the farm anymore and we could potentially sell it i think we've kept hold of it because this cedar actually isn't worth a huge amount of money uh, let's have a look at our productions though and see where we are so our greenhouses are pretty good on seed or actually updated uh pretty good on seed uh as uh, yeah both of them are fine they're both in the green at the moment i'm not actually worried about either of those uh oh wow we need to feed our sheep our sheep are not doing great at the moment and neither are our chickens so i think what we're gonna have to do is we'll go and park this up in the shed uh we'll take our truck up while we got some cash we can get some uh 
chicken feed purchased and that we can then feed to our chickens uh, at the same time we can then get some hay bales as well from our store and uh, and get the sheep fed I didn't realize everything had fallen to the point where uh, they'd run out of food that's bad I've been concentrating so hard on getting the grapes sorted that I, I had just completely forgotten about the animals. Uh, it's not that we don't have feed for them. We do. Well, we do for the uh, uh, the sheep, at least. But yeah, we need to we need to feed our chickens as a matter of urgency as well. Um, I well, it depends on how much the chicken feed is. We still I don't think we have a contract for harvesting. We have a harvesting contract. Oh. Canola is unfortunately no good to us. Uh, so, yeah, no harvesting contracts to get any feed in. So, instead, we are going to have a look. Uh, what have we got in here? Oh, wow. A new cedar uh, hybrid and a unitrack. That would be nice if we had the money, but we don't. So, we want to yeah, head into here. Big bags, we need wheat. It's 1,400. Wow. Uh, so eight bags of this is going to be 1,100. But that would feed our chickens for a good long while. It'll be half our money. How much is it to hire a grape harvester? Because we do need to do that in the near future. Uh, leasing that will cost 12,000. So uh, we're not going to do that yet. What I do need to do then is make sure I keep enough money back. So we will only buy six big bags of this. Uh, that is 8,400. That keeps us well within the amount of money we need for the grape harvester. So let's buy that. Yes. So that's plenty of uh, chicken feed. Uh, so I can get that loaded up. And oh, we do have a set of pallet forks up here. I was wondering if that was the case. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll get the chickens fed and get them sorted, which will be good. And our little uh, our little telly truck should be able to load these up fairly well. And then uh, we can give some feed to our sheep as well. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna load these up quickly, and we'll go from there. And there we go. That is the last one on. Perfect. Uh, well, not quite. It's a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit lopsided, but they should stay on there, especially if we strap them all down, like so. Uh, let's get the Schaefer out of the way and parked up in its usual place, and then we can head back down to the farm and get the chickens fed. Definitely a very lopsided piece of loading that I've done on here, but that's not a huge problem. Uh, we can get... Uh, right, the best place, I think, yeah, is going to be to get nice and round there like that. Is that a store? Is this a barn? That's actually a really good barn. I'm wondering if that's that's a better place to put our equipment, actually. I think we might move our tractors over here, especially as we've now got the fuel stuff just the other side of it. I think that'd be a really good barn to put the tractors in. Okay, nice and close to the house and everything as well. So, oh god, I've got to go right up the top to get the teletruck and bring it back down. So I am hoping that this teletruck isn't going to fall over if I pick two of these up at once. Let's send that as wide as possible. It should be more stable, certainly more stable than our other one was. Uh, although we spoke about that last time and the fact that front loaders aren't actually designed to uh, hold things quite like that. But yeah, there we go. Lower it down a little bit. It's definitely front heavy. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, the front wheels are very compressed, but uh, it should still be okay. 
We've got a pallet and a bit of eggs in here at the moment. Uh, but this should get our egg production going again. And that's unloading it there like that. And look at the front of that uh, raise up. It actually rose up and, uh, and took the other bag out of filling. So that's done it. Where does that leave us? Oh, second harvesting contracts popped up. Sorghum. Sorghum is a chicken feed, isn't it? Do we have, actually, uh, wheat, barley, and sorghum? There's a contract that's useful to us. We're going to have to grab it, and it's for 2,264. Should it be too big? Uh, yeah, let's uh, field 50. Where is field 50? Can we get that done quickly today? And field 50 is over which way? Or can we grab it today and then do it next time? Field 50, decent sized field. Perfect. Let's grab that contract. And uh, and yeah, we might pick it up next time if sorghum is still doable, still harvestable. Uh, where is it? Sorghum. Yes, we can harvest that in September. So looks like... We might head over there, get that contract started today and finish it tomorrow. Or we could just have a very big harvesting day next uh, next time. And uh, yeah, have a bit of sorghum back at the farm. Put that in our uh, storage because we've got grain storage down here. And uh, have some feed for the chickens where we won't have to spend... A whole load more money. Looking at how much feed our chickens are taking. Uh, I don't think we're going to have much trouble with the sorghum. Uh, we are going to be about three quarters full off here. I will be amazed if we have uh, more than will fit in here. Productivity though is down to 10%. So hopefully now we're going to get a, a nice boost to our chickens and uh, they're feeding there we go just finishing that one off yeah i think we'll get shy of six thousand three quarters full and that pretty much covers things so let's switch over to the bale spike which is sitting in here and now we can go and give some feed to our sheep who are massively needing it as well Oh, I can't believe that I uh, I forgot to feed the sheep. I mean, that is really surprising to me. So, uh, two bales of hay here. Uh, 7,250 litres. Our doors to our sheep pen are already open. We'll place those down. And, yeah, there goes the first one. There goes... The second. Yeah, that's that's done them full and we don't need to worry about that. Are we for wool? Oh, wow. So, yeah, wool is uh, regenerating rather nicely. So that will be doing okay. And hopefully, yeah, we can, we can buy the mill later on. We might... As somebody suggested I deliver all of the wool to the spinnery first and then buy the spinnery which is not a bad idea um because you get paid for the wool and then you uh, and then you are able to process it and make money from it so yeah i quite like that idea uh we are going to do that harvesting contract next time it will still be there uh as i said i think we'd probably be able to get away with doing the doing the harvesting of our grapes next time as well as that so have a proper harvesting session uh next time to get all that in uh if not our grapes will last until uh october so we can do them there although i'd like to get them defoliated and everything a bit earlier this year if i can there we are yeah I want to be much better with the grapes this year uh, and see where we go from there. 
Right, let's go park this down by our farmhouse over here. I tend to be parking it here instead of in the garage at the moment. It's more useful at the back of the house here. And then I'm just going to move these tractors into the new shed where we can lock them up and keep them a bit safer. Uh, so, in actual fact, best thing for me to do is leave this here. So uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.